Watertown City Council will soon vote on a new city attorney, but it's how that information became public that has Mayor Jeff Smith set to file an ethics violation against Councilmember Cliff Olney. Olney fires back and tells Cepha news reporter Garrett Dombluski the mayor is a hypocrite. For city governments, executive sessions allow sensitive or private information to be discussed openly but away from the public. After a September 4th executive session for Watertown's City Council, however, information discussed about the city's lawyer became public. With reporting by WWNY-TV and other media outlets on a plan to replace lawyer Todd Ballard. Now, Mayor Jeff Smith is filing an ethics complaint against Councilmember Cliff Olney. I think there's a clear pattern here and it will be pointed out in my ethics complaint of individuals working against the city. Smith says between last week and other instances, Olney has repeatedly shared information discussed in executive sessions with media and with lawyers who do not represent the city. Today, Olney elaborated on that executive session from last week, saying that council took a tentative vote on putting forward a resolution to change its legal counsel. He says a formal vote on that resolution should happen on Monday the 18th. As for the ethics of sharing that information and other information, Olney says the mayor is wrong. He's a hypocrite because what he's done by claiming that I have an ethics charge for releasing something, all I said was what I'm going to do for a vote in the next vote when that comes up about who we're going to choose for an attorney. I didn't say what Lisa was going to do or anybody else that was in the background. So he's wrong. But again, this is for theater more than anything. Olney says the complaint is more about the upcoming mayoral race between council members Lisa Ruggiero and Sarah Campo Pierce than it is about ethics. In a statement announcing the ethics complaint, Smith also alludes to closing documents from the city's purchase of the now Thompson Park golf course, the contents of which he says are extremely disturbing and says could be seen as a cover up. Well, it's unclear what is in those documents, though Seven News is filing paperwork with City Hall in order to see them. Smith expects the ethics complaint to be officially filed by Wednesday. Garrett Dombluski, 7 News.